Wait. Remember Wayside? Also known as Wayside School, it was a Canadian animated show produced by Nelvana for Teletoons before eventually being aired on Nickelodeon. Have you ever had to start a new life at a new school with new friends and teachers? I have a couple of times when moving throughout my childhood and maybe in some cases of yours, you had to transfer schools for whatever reason. But that is also what's happening here to our main character who we center our story on, Todd. A new transfer student to Wayside School, a fictional weird and zany 30 story grammar school that had accidentally been built sideways, thus the name Wayside. The show has always fascinated me before it even was a show, so today we are going to take a look at the weird, wacky, and maybe even wonderful world of Wayside. Welcome back, or hello for the first time, to the 25 Days of Fringemas, where I'll be covering something interesting, nostalgic, or holiday-related every day from the 1st of December to the 25th, in order to find that holiday spirit I lost nearly a decade ago. So if you want to be a part of this daily journey and help me find that good old jolly joy, subscribe and come aboard. Okay, back to Wayside. Todd is a new member of Miss Jewel's class, who does his best to be a good student, but finds himself having trouble adjusting to his strange new school during his first couple days, often resulting in him being sent home early on the kindergarten bus. The unique design of the school has resulted in each of the school's 30 floors acting as a single classroom. So instead of there being one story of 30 classrooms, there are 30 stories of single classrooms. Remember just a moment ago I used the word accidentally for when they built the school sideways? How did that happen? What is this? This looks like someone who's playing Tetris really bad. Regardless, this leaves you with the building that has the principal's office on the first floor and Todd's class on the 30th floor with all the other classes, cafeteria, etc. scattered haphazardly up and down the other floors. Beyond just the sideways design of the school, Wayside also has other strange uh, features. Instead of being where they're supposed to be, doors, lockers, and stairs are at bizarre upside down, backwards, and sideways angles, or sometimes suspended high off the floor or way too close to the ground. Wayside is a peculiar and unique school filled with peculiar and unique students such as Todd's fellow classmate, Mauricia, a mood-changing greed hedgehog owning member of Miss Jewel's class who is always in roller skates and has a uh, small, <clears throat> small crush on Todd. There's also students like Dana, the resident overachiever who carefully monitors the school rules and does her best to help her friend Myron, a self-centered fellow student, become class president and just kind of meddle with everyone else's lives there. There's Sherry, a girl who just constantly falls asleep in class. That's something I can relate to. There's Steven, a boy who dresses like an elf every day. And Jenny, a girl with fabulous blonde hair. Even as weird, or if not weirder, the Wayside faculty is fairly interesting themselves. There's Miss Jewel, Todd's airheaded but well-meaning, maybe, teacher who adores her students, to an extent, but also really just doesn't get Todd. In fact, most of the conflicts that result in Todd being sent home are in the misunderstandings between the teacher and Todd. There's also Mr. Kidswater, and by the name should tell you everything, he's an eccentric, child-hating school principal. There's Lewis, the relaxed yard teacher, probably one of my more favorite characters from the show, and Miss Miss Mush, the lunch lady in the cafeteria. And now I'm hungry. And now a word from the star of the new Nick show, Wayside. That's me, Todd. Oh, look, it's a monkey! Wayside. It's a show about school that you can watch in the comfort of your own home. And the only work you have to do is sit back and enjoy. Now, get to work. Now, before it was just a regular series, it started off with an extended pilot episode. The pilot for the series aired on November 19th, 2005, as a 48-minute movie called Wayside the Movie. Very original. Produced straight for TV for Teletoon. In the movie, Todd transfers to Wayside and joins Miss Jewel's class. Todd finds himself having to adjust to the new unusual school, and despite trying to be on his best behavior, especially from what is rumored about what he did at his last school causing him to transfer to this one, quickly gets his name written on the display board with a warning from Miss Jules that if he doesn't shape up, he'll be sent home early on that kindergartner bus. Todd does his best to stay good and fit in for all of five seconds, but when the walls of Miss Jules' classroom seem to start closing in during a PA announcement by the principal, Todd freaks out trying to warn everyone. Miss Jules sees this as a distraction to his fellow students and sends him home early. The next day, Todd once again tries to be good. He starts helping those weird inconveniences he's noticed at the school. But again, after the walls start closing in during another PA announcement, Todd freaks out.
belt and is, is sent home early. What a shocker. As the days go on, Todd actually ends up meeting with his new classmates more and the faculty, like the lunch lady, Miss Mush, and her corrosive mushroom surprise. Mmm, yum. And even participating in events like a dodgeball tournament to determine the class president. What if real elections were held like that? See, that would be more entertaining. One day after Todd is once again sent home for freaking out about the walls, he sneaks back into the school where he discovers that Miss Jewel's classroom is actually a trash compactor. And this may seem weird to me explaining it, but in the movie itself, when looking through the blueprints of the school and how everything was mishmash and put together, there's a reason why certain kitchen things like a compactor and a tiny classroom being put in the kitchen make sense from not making sense. Does that make sense? At, at this point, I don't know. As a particularly long announcement over the PA drones on, Miss Jewel's class begins to be crushed. Noticing this, Todd rushes into action, rescuing the class by using Miss Mush's corrosive mushroom surprise to melt through Miss Jewel's locked door, and freeing his class just in time. With that, Todd is welcomed back to class with open arms. I think this intro movie to the series is pretty funny. It's filled with good jokes like this one. Stupid Mike! And oddly enough, having a different main lead voice acting talent for Todd from the pilot movie to the show. In the show, Todd is voiced by Rick Zeef. But in the movie pilot, Todd is voiced by Michael Sarah. Neat. Oh, someone needs to feed that goldfish. I'm sure he's just sleeping. Weird. He's green now. He must be one of those chameleon fish I've heard so much about. Oh, and he's back. Sorry, I'm so hyper fixated about this fish. Also, this terrified me so bad that I had to stop working on the video for a whole day as I pondered my existence on this floating rock. Officially, the Wayside series ran from June 25th, 2007 to July 9th, 2008 for a total of two seasons, with the pilot movie not being counted into the main run. Wayside was developed for Nelvana for John Derivlani. Derivlani is a writer, director, and performer who has co-created series for Lego, written for TV shows like The Angry Beavers, and co-found the heavy metal ukulele band, Uke Till You Puke. I got a ukulele. Now that's what I call ukulele. But much like how we went back to the start of the show with the pilot movie, we don't just start there. Going back further, Wayside is based on the book series Wayside School by Lewis Satcher. Satcher was born in East Meadow, New York in 1954. He is an American young adult mystery comedy Arthur who is best known for writing Holes, the beloved young adult novel about a falsely accused young man at a correctional boot camp in the desert that later became one of Shia LaBeouf's most famous early roles in film. Now, creative liberties have been taken during the creation of the show that has led to there being some differences between the two works. Some critics found the show clever, citing a fondness for its offbeat humor, while others criticized the differences between the show and the book series. Just ask any Harry Potter fan about the differences between the works of the books and the movies to see how serious this stuff can be taken by fandoms. But in Wayside, there's a lot different here in general. Wayside will be right back. Don't go too far or we'll have to send a search party. And they are really expensive. Brace yourself, Wayside is back. Recess is over and these kids are taking over your screen. While stuff like principles that hate children have been used many a times in school-related TV shows and movies, ahem, <clears throat> Max Keeble's big move, having teachers that solely pick on the student's intellect or just pick on the main character is a rare sighting that stands out for the relationship Miss Jules has with her students and Todd, as well as having a girl have the crush on the guy. All the while, the main character just wants some sort of normalcy in the most unorthodox of places and to just help out around the school. While there is no season three of Wayside, interestingly enough, there was a hoax for a while floating around that in 2012, 15 episodes, making up a supposed season three aired, though there are no recordings of these episodes existing anywhere on the internet. According to a still existing list of these episodes, season three included titles like Sherry's Revenge and Que Pasa de Paul. John himself has stated that there were roughly 300 stories for Wayside written, and clearly we didn't get anywhere near that number by the time the show went off the air. But thanks to specific wording from John claiming only 52 were made, it puts to rest the rumors of a supposed season three, for now. When the show came to an end in 2008, it was very abrupt, and when doing research, I came across this. It was too funny not to show, but 11 years ago when someone asked the same question, the best answer award winner here says, because it's a stupid show. Ah, internet, never change. One thing I love about the weirdness of the school is the little blink and you miss it details that flood the backgrounds of scenes, like here from the movie pilot 
Charlotte itself where in the pool this boy and girl are talking, things seem to be going well until the water drains. Let's just ignore that shark over there real quick, but you see that he is actually a short king. And she, well, she's not too happy. The details of the floors and areas of the school being literally sideways or built different make for some of the more unique backdrops for scenes to take place. As it will take you a second to realize, oh, the basketball court is on the wall. None of this is practical. Almost to points of MC Escher inspiration. Plus, the character animations look very similar to Kablam, and I love that. It's different and quirky, and I overall like the vibe that it gave off. Sometimes a break from the normal, embracing silly, going against tradition and tropes can make for something truly special, like a sideways school. Or it can be too much at once, ending up more nonsensical than enjoyable. And the whole Jenga Tower of Random can come crumbling down. Let me know how you felt about Wayside if you ever watched it. I remember when it originally premiered and I enjoy the limited episodes I saw of it, but upon this rewatch, I found it very enjoyable and something that would and should have stood out more in its time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter or else. I'll see you tomorrow with another video for my next day of Fringemas. Check out the playlist to keep up with this month, but until then, later.